Hello everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can delete multiple events at once using Google Calendar. There are a few different ways to do this. I'm going to show you three different solutions and which one is going to work best for you really depends on the situation that you have. So there are really two types of events here in Google Calendar. We have reoccurring events which are set to happen on a regular time interval and then we have one-off events that just happen once and then they're over so let's take a look at first deleting reoccurring events so if you take a look at my Google Calendar you'll notice that I have an event called test event 1 and that is reoccurring every single day at 930 starting on September 23rd so let's say I want to delete that event in every single time it repeats in the future what I need to do is I need to click to open up this event and then I need to click on the delete button at the top now when I do that, it tells me that, hey, this is a reoccurring event. Do you only want to delete this instance of the event, which means just delete the one that's happening today? Do you want to delete all following, which means the one that's happening today and any other ones scheduled for the future? Or do you want to delete all events in the series, which means the one today, the ones in the future, and the ones from the past? So if we're looking to completely delete this event, we would choose all events in the series. You'll notice when I do that, all of the events have now disappeared. So if it's a reoccurring event, it's pretty easy. Now let's take a look at one-off events. This is a little bit more difficult and that's why I have two separate solutions depending on your situation. So the first one is using Google Calendar. This is as easy as it's going to get with Google Calendar. So what we would do if we have multiple one-off events that we want to delete is we would change the view to agenda view up here at the top. And you'll notice that we can now uh, see all of our events that are coming up in, in kind of one view instead of having to go through each month or each day. And we could even take this a bit further and we could search our calendar for, say, test event. So now all the events called test event appear on our screen. So if you've got a one-off event that's titled the same thing but just repeated and they're not connected to each other, this is how you could display only that event at once. And then what you can do is you can click on the little plus icon to drop it down and click delete plus delete that's as good as you're gonna get in Google Calendar I wish it was easier but it's not so um, that's if you've got maybe 10 or 20 of them that's definitely feasible if you have 500 of them that becomes difficult so the third solution I have is a solution that has been suggested by other users who are experiencing the same issue and what that is is it's to actually export your Google Calendar out of Google Calendar into what's called an ICS file, which is essentially the file that holds all of your Google Calendar information, then import that file into another calendar system. Other people have used Yahoo, you could also use Outlook, another calendar system that makes it easier to delete multiple events at once. So then you can import that uh, calendar, you can delete your multiple events in Yahoo or Outlook, and then you can export that calendar from Yahoo or Outlook and import it back into Gmail. I wish I had an easier solution for you guys using Google Calendar, but this is as good as we're going to get. If it's a reoccurring event, it's pretty easy. Just hit delete once and then choose to delete all events in the series. If you have a few one-off events, you can go over here into the agenda view and delete them individually. If you've got a ton of one-off events, your best bet is probably going to be to use another calendar system. So you'll have to export your calendars out of Google Calendar, modify them in a different calendar system, and then import them back in. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you want to see more technology tips and tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you for now. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.